So this comes with Windows 10 Home. What the luck? Come on, let's get rid of that Windows Home. Let's get some Windows Pro. Copy and paste my code from the description. You can also get Office 2019. Just paste my code, Wolf. It's Windows Pro time. Okay, okay. Tell the whole dear champs. Now, what do we have here? Aero 15 Classic. Ninth generation CPUs, both the same GPUs this time, made a mistake in the last one, we won't talk about that. But anyway, 2070 Max-Q, 2070 Max-Q, 8th generation CPU, 8750H, 9750H here. Now, let's see what the difference is. And the best thing about this test is they are both the same machines. So they're going to have the same power delivery, pretty much, you know, just a slightly modified uh, motherboard. And look at this. Ooh, 240 hertz display on this. Oh, now we're cooking with gas, fellas. Now, let's just see a quick Cinebench uh, test. I will be doing like content creation, which one's faster, how much faster. Obviously, this will be faster than ninth generation. Also in gaming too. And the best thing is, they're both the same machine. So this is gonna be basically apples for apples and just the CPU difference there. So. Let's just run this Cinebench, and I'm interested in here. I'll just run this quickly straight away. Oh, we'll just get those boost clocks. I just want to see how fast it boosts. Yeah, went up to, what, 4 gigahertz there, and up to 80 watts. So I think the power delivery is going to be the same. I don't think nothing spectacular is going to happen here. I'll just run this one now, and we'll see what they settle in at. Okay, let's see here. Yeah, went up to 3.8, so that went up to 4, and then backed off, it was over 80 watts, and this one here is 3.4, and we have 79 watts. Now, let's see what this settles in at, if we see here, alright, so now it's settled in, in, so it's gone down to 3.14, as you can see the clock there, basically 3.1, or that's that one there, right there. And you can see 61.9 watts, 62 watts, okay? Same here, all right? This is still going, oh no, same, 61 point, whatever. So nearly 62 watts and the same frequency virtually. 3.1, we have here, 3.14, we have here, 3.13. How much wattage? 61.7, 61.8 or 62. So virtually the same amount of wattage. For the same speed there that is virtually the same speed Look. so this is obviously baked into the um, bios here the speeds they're running so same wattage very interesting 62 watts with pushing 62 watts and the same speed so that's all i wanted to know 3.12 3.14 virtually the same again 62 watts there 62 watts here, and let's see the temperatures. Whoa, we're about in the 70s, and here, what do we got? In the 70s too, so really, there's not that much to choose, certainly in this thing here, because we're just talking about the Gigabyte Aero. Obviously the BIOS will be controlling how long this boosts for, or how hard it boosts for, but we'll be undervolting it, of course, so stay tuned for that. But just now, a quick run on this Cinebench and see what scores we get. Obviously, this one's going to be faster. This one's still going, and that would be that initial boost, I guess. You know, this can maintain 3.9 gigahertz. This can do 4 gigahertz, or 4.1, is it? Sorry. That's 4. 4 gigahertz. It's 100 more. So, yeah. Um, let's have a look. 2466. 2351. So both exactly the same machine, same power delivery, same virtually motherboard, same everything. And you saw at the same frequency, the same wattage. So 62 watts at that, um, what was it, 3.1 or 3.2 or whatever. Virtually exactly the same amount of wattage for the, um, well, uh, certainly in this. So this is like a, whatever, small sample size, but at least we have the exact same machines. That's the most important thing. So stay tuned for a lot more tests. I will be comparing these two uh, just for benchmarking, for you know CPU benchmarks, content creation, is there a difference, 9th gen, 8th gen, also for gaming, of course, and we'll see what happens. Catch you next one, guys. Give me a thumbs up if you like these videos. I'll catch you next one. Chelly, oh.